Rosie's on Intern John, your morning show. Let's pretend you're in a relationship and you're happy. You think this person could be something really, something really special, but then something happens where you go, ah, what's up? Are they hiding something? Is there something else? Are they doing something they shouldn't be doing? That's why we do War of the Roses on Intern John, your morning show. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. So walk us I, through this. I yeah. love the show. I appreciate that. Um, you and Jay yeah. have been together for how long? We're coming up on a year, actually. Okay. Big, it's wow. a big, uh, um, big, uh, big uh, day. Yeah, we're excited. Um, Valentine's will be actually a year. And so. Got you. Okay. Yeah. I okay. feel like I know him really well. And I just, I'm really confused. Um, because it was his birthday last week okay. and I wanted to, you know, surprise him. But I ha- I made some plans for his birthday. Like I had some special things that were planned and last minute he had to work. Okay. So he's a manager at this restaurant near where we live. So I was like, you know what? I totally get it, babe. Um, and I said to him, well, we'll celebrate when you get home later. Yeah. Um can, no problem. Can I ask, a, qu- I a, a, like, qu- you know a, ask you a quick question? How long yeah, um, in advance did he know about the birthday plans? Like, it's something he knew like a week before. He knew. That's a good question. Yeah, I I told him that I wanted us to celebrate together, like sure. the the week before. But the day before was when I was really like, um, by the way, like yeah. tomorrow yeah, got I you. have something special planned. Sure. You know, like the whole thing. Is, is he, um, he got called he, into work, and has he been called into work before? Where it's like, oh, he's got to go in because. Mm-hmm. So the, okay. So that, yeah, so, okay. he has to work like some. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Okay, makes um, sense. It happened when. Yeah, like he, it happens. It happens sometimes. Sure. I mean, um, if you're managing a restaurant, I'm sure that, that makes sense. Okay, and but explain what mm-hmm. happens though. So he he tells you he can't. He's got to go to work. You do what? I was like, okay, babe, yeah, we'll celebrate when you get home. I totally get it. And then I was like, no, that's stupid. It's his birthday. Like, so I got all dressed up. I He works at a place that's pretty casual, but I got all dressed up. I was, like, w- wearing, like, a gorgeous dress. And I showed up. I was like, okay, I'm going to just have, like, a meal at the bar so at least we can, like, flirt on his birthday. Yeah, no, yeah. that's awesome. And that's cute. Yeah. Thank you. Making it fun, you know. And I showed up. I'm like, hi. Um, where, where's my man, you know? And the hostess kind of looked a little uncomfortable and she was like, oh, he's not working today. Actually, he, it's his birthday. He's off. That and is like, bizarre. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, I was like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> and he had told G that he had to work and that's why he couldn't hang out. Okay. So l- let's do this, Michelle. Yeah. We'll have sauce called off from the flowers. Clearly, you know, this close to the anniversary and Valentine's Day, they should go to you. If they do, we'll put them on hold and see what Thank you want to do. Um, but if they don't, though, we'll get some answers for you, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Right, War of the Roses on Intern John, your morning show. It's War of the Roses on Intern John and your morning show. Michelle, I'm going to recap this real quick. You and Jay have been dating for almost a year. His birthday was last week. You decided that you wanted to do something special. You had a whole day planned. He tells you the day before, hey, I got called into work. I have to cover uh, a shift. He's a, a restaurant manager, which uh, happens. You decide to do something kind of sweet and like go to the restaurant anyway. I guess you could at least have dinner in the same room as him. Get yeah. to his restaurant. They tell you, oh, he's not here. He's off for his birthday. Um, that's kind of where we're at, right? Yep. Okay. And a couple. That's one hundred percent where we're at. Yeah. And I wanted to ask this. I didn't mention this before with your email. You mentioned you guys don't live together. Um, and Correct. You, you've noticed what at his place when you go over. Um, well, he has a roommate, and so I always, I think it's the roommate, or at least I used to, but, like, sometimes it just kind of feels like there was a woman there. Like, sometimes I'll go over his place, and it's kind of messy, and other times, like, amazingly, the pillows are all fluffed up, and, like, Mm -hmm. you know, it just looks like there was a woman's touch there, like, somebody who just made it look more presentable, and I even once, like, found a lip gloss in the bathroom and it, it just like smells okay. like sure. a lady had been there. Yeah. Well, but, 
I just figured it was his roommate. You know, uh, it's like, yeah. well. A C- couple quick questions. So when you say the pillows are fluffed up, sure. are we talking on the couch or are we talking in his bedroom? Because that's compl- two completely different things. I was talking about the couch. Okay, okay. Now okay. That okay. No, 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 no. That, no, no. Like there was one time that it okay. looked like his bed was made differently, I guess. Got you. But I honestly didn't think about that. Okay. And then my other question that I just had is when you um, went to the restaurant, I mean, you've been dating for a year. Have you been there before? Like, do people at least know, like, oh, this this is Jay's girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah, okay. they did. Okay. I think I think most of them did. Okay. That's what, I just want to make sure. So let's do this. Sauce will call off from the flowers. Should go to you, clearly. Anniversary's coming up. Valentine's mm-hmm. Day's coming up. If they don't, though, we'll get some answers, okay? Okay. Right, cool. Hold on Thank one. You. No, yeah, no problem. Let's hold on one second. Let me try to get him uh, on real quick. <sighs> no, just breathe. you actually all. really. Yeah, this is nerve wracking. No, no. It's, it, but either way, though, it's going to be good. It'll be positive no matter what happens. All right. <laughs> Hi, is this Jay? Uh, yeah, this is Jay. Hi. Hi, my name is Izzy. I'm actually calling you from a new local flower shop. We're just trying out some new marketing. We're called YMS Flowers. And since we're in the community, it's close to Valentine's Day, we're offering a free bouquet of a dozen red roses just in hopes that, you know, in the future people will come back to us since we're new. We want people to see our beautiful bouquets like live in homes, offices, wherever. And it's totally free. We don't need your credit card info or anything. So is that something? How did you get my number? It's just like we get a, a marketing list because we're new. We're in the community. It's a local thing. Um, and I just, I want to see if you'd be interested. Uh, I mean, it's, it can go anywhere in the United States. Uh, we're just like a f- small family business and we're kind of struggling right now, you know, so you'd be helping. All right. Um, you said this was a free service that yeah. you guys do? Yes. I don't need your credit card info. It can go anywhere. They're a gorgeous red bouquet of, res- of red roses. Um, they can go anywhere in the country. And they're, like, very romantic, in my opinion. Like, they're gorgeous. Okay, so you give me the free flowers. What do you get out of it? I mean, you're helping my family business. I need to go to college, and you're helping. And then my, my mom will love me a little bit more, you know? Okay. I mean, it's, um, it's been rough since sure. we opened, so. So what do you need from me? What, what do you need? I'm just here going to send them to, um, and then we can go from there. Sure. Um, so, so you need a name. Okay. Yeah, I just need a name. Uh, you can send them to Cara. Car, how do you spell that? C A R A. C A R A. And then um, so we are just like you know taking inventory of who we're sending stuff to. So is she uh, like your wife, girlfriend, other sister, mom? They are romantic though. She's a friend. A friend? Like, they're romantic though. I know I'm sounding a broken record. I'm so sorry, but they're red roses. Right. Okay. You are a man with a few words. Okay, that's going to be difficult because uh, I have to do this card now. So think like Twitter characters. Like, what do you want the card to say? Oh, okay. Um, you want to say okay? How about this? If if I could rearrange the letters of the alphabet, I'd put you between the letters F and CK. Uh, so you, oh did you say F? Oh, oh my God. What? Are you fine? Oh, no. question. Hold on a second. Yeah. Um, Jay, my name is Intern Jim. I got uh, Sauce and Rose here as well, and that is your girlfriend, Michelle. Yeah. Uh, to her her point, are you freaking kidding us? Are you? Are what? you yeah. Yeah. What, what's what's the word? Word? Why, Michelle, why are you on the... What, we can't say that word, though. What is this about? So, Jay, I mean, what is it about, yeah. Jay? Who's Kara? And why would you want to put... Uh, he says letter, Kara. Kara, why would you want to put the U between those letters? Kara, well, Kara, who the fuck? Michelle, we can't say that word. But oh, yes, man. who is this person? She's a friend. She's a friend. And why oh, do you why, why, why do you want to put her between the letters F and the other ones? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, wanna, we can't say that word. We, we, do you want to do you want to fornicate uh, her? <laughs> or you want to fornicate her? Or Jay? Your is that who you were with on your birthday? Oh, is gosh. that who you were with on your birthday? May, it may be. What do you mean, maybe? Oh. You don't remember your birthday? Oh, 
My God. And you canceled a, plans with I your had a girlfriend. Lot to drink that night. Um, yeah, but here's the real question, Jim. Mm-hmm. Why would you? Why would you lie to your girlfriend about your plans? Or why would you lie about having to work? Yeah. Um, you are a piece I don't know. Of don't that know. You do this to me. Yeah. She's angry. I feel like such a dumbass. I can't believe this. Can a guy just do what he wants on his birthday? Now that she uh-huh. has a girlfriend, what are you, 12? Stop it. Oh, my God. Right now. You're you know a full grown man. Kara Thank is you. a good friend. I've known her for a long time. Yeah, all right. Mm-hmm. All right. War of the Roses is pre-taped and possibly edited for broadcast with permission granted from all participants. Want more roses? Go to ymsradio.com. We love your thoughts, War of the Roses, on Intern John and your morning show, 99338, to text in Gainesville. Jennifer, good morning. Good morning. You heard War of the Roses. What do you want to say? Uh, that guy made me throw up in my mouth, literally. Yeah. No, uh, same page, girl. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day. You too. And everything celeb sauce is out with a stomach bug. Rose has the entertainment report coming next. What you got for us? We are talking about all the Grammy news, including Jay-Z's acceptance speech where he liked defended Beyonce. Plus your Avril Lavigne tickets. Hang on. Intern John and your morning show. Broadcast on iHeartRadio.